everybody, thanks for watching. A couple of weeks ago, you saw I did a review of this training aid called the Swing Coach. I think I have it. I have it. I actually have it over here. It's in my bag right now. Uh, okay, so this is the Swing Coach. So a couple of weeks, I did a review of it with my friend O'Neill, and O'Neill and I had a super hard time with it. I, give it a, I gave it a low rating just because uh, I liked what it did, but I could literally throw it 360 degrees around anywhere. The people from the Swing Coach, they saw my review of it and they contacted me and they wanted to uh, have me go down to San Diego and meet with Dean Rymouth. You guys saw the video that I did with Dean. Well, um, I did the video and Dean had me slinging this thing pretty well and uh, showed me some things that I was doing wrong with it. And really, I gotta say, there is no real trick to it. It's hard to do, but uh, some of the shots I was hitting after using this uh, kind of convinced me that this is super worthwhile. So I wanted to show you guys the entire video of what Dean and I did at uh, the Crosby in San Diego. So here it is. This is uh, Dean and I at the Crosby in San Diego. This is an outside production company produced this. And I asked them if I could uh, put it up on Be Better Golf because I think you guys will appreciate it. Uh, one of the cool things that uh, that the guys from the Swing Coach are doing, because uh, this video is going up on Be Better Golf, I asked them if they could. Uh, I asked them if they could give a promotional code, a promo code for this. So they gave us one, which is really cool. So um, the cheapest price anywhere on the internet for this thing is going to be using the promo code Be Better. So if you go to the website in the link in the description below and use the promo code BE BETTER, I think all one word or caps, uh, you will get the uh, the best price anywhere on the internet for the Swing Coach if you're interested. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this thing. If you think the motion that you have to use to sling this thing straight uh, is the type of motion that you need for a great golf swing, which is what Dean says. So check this video out. Thanks guys. All right, Dean, so you were over there watching and you saw me hit a couple iron shots and you saw me swing the swing coach. The iron shots were good, results-wise. The swing coach was pretty wild. What am I doing? Right. So this is where, when, when you tested it, this is where that went off because yes. the swing coach is based on pure physics of inertia. In other words, it's okay. the equation for distance mass times velocity. Uh -huh. Well, this is only a velocity tool. It's not a mass tool because there's no compression, right? Yeah, there's no hit. So when you get a real club, you get what we call false positive. You, ball can be here. The club can come from this direction, side swipe the ball, and the ball still goes straight. Mm -hmm. Now, if you close the face a little bit, ball goes left. If you overcut it, the ball goes right. So you get a long left, short straight, and short right. And that's yeah. the reaction you'll get. This, it'll just be left. The first time I used this, I was on the range, about 50 people, very popular range. And uh, I swung it, and it looks like a driver, so I'm like, this is gonna be, this is gonna be 110 miles an hour of man right here, just swinging this thing. And it went up in the air and behind me and landed about a foot from a guy. Uh, and everybody turned and looked. But, and uh, then I went back to the, the directions. I just, it's so hard for me to have the discipline. That's the problem. So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this as the guide. Mm -hmm. The club should track back on the line a little bit, starts inside like this. Mm -hmm. As it comes down, it's gonna come back down inside at maximum acceleration point, which is here, it's back on line. Yes. And then it goes forward and slightly left. But what is the difference between that swing and this one? I go back here. I come back to go left. Now from this position, I'm going to go left that way. Oh, yeah. So what's the difference? Well, the difference is you never came from the inside here. You were down the line and then that way. Exactly. It wasn't inside to inside. It was just outside. Correct. Yeah. So if I do that with this and I go left, that's where yours went. All right, so let's get deeper into uh, my issue, which is pretty common, isn't it? 
Yes, and of course, everybody wants to fix my problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't care about yeah. your, your problem. I want to care about my problem, right? That's right. So yeah. that's what your job is, is to fix their problem. Yeah. So you have yeah. to know more about how this works to help them. Okay. At the same time, it's going to help you. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and get set up. All right, so I, I put the ball in. I have no yep. spacer in here. Now. Correct. Now, if I was standing here, mm -hmm. and you just went straight forward with your swing to the finish, yep. would I be in your way? Yes, you would. Why? Well, why would you want the club coming over my way? Where's your target? Target's straight out there. You're not. You're not in the in, in the way. The, of the target. Yeah, exactly. So that shouldn't come anywhere near me, right? So if you make the product, the swing coach, go toward the target like you want the ball to go, go ahead slowly forward. Forward, not backwards. Yeah, just just forward. forward. Just straight forward. Oh, yeah. I'm not, I'm oh, not, I'm not doesn't here. come near me, right? No. And that would send the ball forward. Now, oh, you're right. I have the sawing feeling. That's the, that's the left, left, or cutting off the arc, right? Mm -hmm. So now cut off the arc like forward, just forward only. Cut off the arc. Yep. Now you're going my way, right? Yes. So where's the ball going? Where it always goes, 45 degrees. Over left. there. Yeah. Exactly. Which is what your problem is. The difference is when you have a golf club that's making contact with the ball mm -hmm. and you sideswipe it, you get the false positive. Yep. If you were to hit a ball like this mm -hmm. and it went straight, it's going to be at least 15 to 20 percent short of what it should be compared to that. Well, now you're talking about something that's really exciting, which is not only will it go straighter more often, more distance too. Exactly. Cool. Because you have to remember, there's always two factors. There's, yeah. there's speed or velocity and mass. Mm -hmm. Well, if I punched you in the face, but punched you this way and I glanced you, yeah. no matter how hard I swing my arm, mm -hmm. it's just going to be that. Yeah. But if I go like this, Straight on. I'm going to stand here. Mm -hmm. I want you to swing it back. Then I want you to swing it forward. And I want you to let it go and don't hit me. Yeah, now do it faster. Oh boy, Dean. Okay, I went very high. Right, because the <laughs> speed, you were cautious yeah, here. I was nervous. Because yeah. you're, yeah, that's yeah. exactly what happens to most people. They're nervous, so they don't get the club up to speed. Let's look at the next thing you're doing wrong. Okay. Which is maybe over acceleration? Well, yeah. When I watched you guys on the YouTube channel, yeah. mm -hmm. what was happening is the ball was doing See. what? Exactly. Yeah. So I want you to make a swing that you would kind of anticipate would hit it as far as you could hit it with Just that. Take this and, and swing as fast as you want. Swing as fast as I want. Yep. All right, crew, get ready for this. <laughs> right. Now, you notice it went behind me, right? Yes. So yes. if you heard the whoosh, yeah. where was the loudest whoosh? See about here. It's actually up about there, okay. which is what sent the ball down this way. Okay. Okay. Because that cradle's only designed to hit 75 miles an hour where? Bottom of the arc. Okay. Right. So if you take the bottom of the arc mm -hmm. at 75 and you reach 75 here in the first quarter of your downswing, right. Ball's going to come out down there. Right. If you reach it here in the second part of the downswing, it'll come out here. Uh -huh. If you reach it here, it'll go that way. And if you start reaching it on this side in any one of those quadrants, it's going to start going to the left. And realize that the club is designed to swing at a certain speed, not the speed you'd like to swing at. Right. The speed it's designed for. Yeah. Right. So this is for 75, which mm -hmm. basically, when I did the correlation with TrackMan, if I can swing this at 75. It's the equivalent of hitting a, a seven iron about a hundred and probably thirty-five yards. Okay. Okay. Yeah. With the hundred cradle, when I got it up to hundred miles an hour, yeah. that's the equivalent of seven iron at one hundred and sixty-five yards. Okay. 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 Flight, because you have to add the mass to it, right? Mm -hmm. So you take the velocity, which is what TrackMan showed me with this, mm -hmm. and there was no compression. Yep. So all we were doing is taking the velocity, seeing how far the ball carried in the air, and then we did a correlation backwards. That's really cool. All right. Yeah. So now we're going to do it again. Pretend that I'm standing next to you and get it to 75 miles an hour here. So you can't hit me over here. Yep. So I'm going to be. Correct. See how it went straight? That was good, Dean. So the third thing that happens when you swing is that when you start to release it, mm -hmm. you 
flip it a little bit. You flip exactly, yeah. which is why at a high rate of speed, it's going to hit the ground really here. Yeah. But when you're working with other people and they're not swinging that fast, we'd call it casting. Yeah. So casting, you'll see the ball kind of scurry out low into the right out here. Well, if it's really bad or it's a real four speed, it's going to come out so early, yeah. it'll bounce back here. Mm -hmm. But if you cast it versus let it release more gradually, that ball's going to go off in that direction there. So I got the spacer in here. Right. We did that for a reason because it's easy for people who are using wedge shots and chip shots. When they get down at the bottom, they're moving slower, but then they feel like they're not going to get it there mm -hmm. and they'll flip it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you get a flipper and that flipper is the ball's going to scurry out this way. So what do you want me to do with this one, Dean? What now that Just go ahead and flip one okay. a little bit. See how it went out that way? Yes, yeah, sure did. So as soon as you get to here, and you flip this, mm -hmm. that forces the acceleration to fling down to the head and it sends the ball out. Yeah, I'm pretty good, I'm pretty good, and I think this is gonna give right. me something. And that's this one, put your hand up. Yeah. So people, they, they feel like they're getting near impact, and as soon as they get near impact, they get a little jumpy and they, yeah. it jumps like that. Yeah. Now, if you were in a car and mm -hmm. the car went really fast, it would do this. Oh yeah. It would jolt you, right? Yep. So they've gotta learn that even in a putting stroke, it's like the yip. It's, you hit the chip shots, it's gotta be a real smooth, constant acceleration to an area, not to a point, yeah. okay? All right, so we got the spacer in here now and we're gonna work on getting me a little more smooth through the impact zone, right? And yet still hitting the same speed, but more gradual. Correct, see there how it go. went straight? Yep. And that's really sensitive to that with the spacer in it for a reason, because when you're hitting little chip shots, mm -hmm. it doesn't take much to jostle it. Oh, yeah. If you're going 100 miles an hour and you give it a little extra, it's mm -hmm. still in the fairway. Yep. You do that here and the, ball, the club's either going to hit the ground fat or it's going to skull the ball across the green. Yeah. There you I go. love that one, Dean. See? Now, you notice how much more consistent your awareness and sensitivity is to the swing coach now than when you first started? Oh, like when we did our YouTube video and the ball was going to straighten the ground or it went and actually hit uh, the pro shop. I had no idea why. Right. You know, it was a, but now if I do that, I can connect, oh, that thump, I felt this. Right. And that left one, I felt this. And it you doesn't know, so. take long uh -uh. because it's very quick to respond to you and that response is immediate. So it's, oh, I know what, oh, I know what that felt like. Oh, that's what it did. I know what it felt like. Oh, that's what that did. Yeah. And once you understand and watch the signals, that's why this is going to be helpful because people are seeing you learning. Mm -hmm. All right, Dean, so yeah. I want to hit actual golf shots better. Yeah. So how can I translate the swing coach to the golf club? Right. So the only difference yeah. between this and that is that that actually makes contact with the ball. If you yeah. swing your seven iron the same as this, yeah. the ball will go better than it ever did before. All that we did is we took the ball contact mm -hmm. out of the equation in the focal point. It's all focal point is on your swing movement. Okay, so just, I'm gonna be, uh, this is gonna be my swing coach swing. Oh, I love that, Dean. All right, Dean, let's take this swing coach stuff to the actual golf course. All right, let's, do let's it. Let's see what you can do out there. How that swing one? Mm, nice, I like that one. Much smoother than it was before and a much better acceleration. 